So you don't have to wait until the time will be forced. You do it willingly so that Jesus Christ, who is Lord, as we are confessing Him, we are confessing about this salvation and it's going to be glorified. Amen? Amen. As you continue the, 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 in Romans 10, 13, the, you continue in the same chapter. It says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. So if everyone is going to call on Him, that's what I'm telling you. The way, this way, it is for everybody. Everyone that is going to call on this name, a child, amen, a teenager, a youth, a mother, a, a, a father, praise the Lord. Amen. And it doesn't matter how old somebody is, it doesn't matter how young this person is, but if we confess, amen, praise the Lord, amen. for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. Okay. So if you are not born again today, it is your day of salvation. Because you know what? This way is the way. Praise the Lord. Amen. No other way. This is the only way that the Lord Jesus has made and prepared for us so that we can walk in it and be with the Lord. First John chapter 5, verses 14 to 15. And this is the confidence that we have toward Him. That if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if we know that He hears us, if whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of Him. Praise the Lord. That is okay. So the Bible, the Bible is telling us, you know what, I'm talking about the marks of salvation. One of the marks is that for us who are born again, when we ask, praise the Lord. Um, amen. When you ask, the enemy. What's going to happen when you ask? What's going to happen to you? That is the mark. We pray and we receive. Praise the Lord. Amen. We were getting ready to come. As you are preparing to come to Kenya, a ticket is very expensive to come to Kenya. It's not cheap. It's not that paying the matatu for the matatu. Praise the Lord. Yes. So you can imagine a ticket which probably maybe maybe uh, probably maybe a um, hundred thousand times what you pay for your matatu. Praise the Lord. And we're talking about one journey. Huh? Coming and going back. It wasn't easy to get the ticket. It's not easy. The friend that you've been there, it's not cheap. Praise the Lord. So, you know, and we, want, we, want to, we needed to come this time because we are launching our book on Friday. Praise the Lord. Amen. Passing the baton. Just as we pass it on to Reverend Beth and she's passing it on to other teachers and even the children. So, you know, as we wonder when we get the money, we pray it. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when we prayed, the Lord answered our prayer and gave us the ticket, the money to travel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The other thing, the, our church was not in a good shape. And we were wondering, now what are we going to do? Because there are so many things, there are so many needs. The school needs to be paid. There are, there are things to be taken care of. So we wonder what are we going to do because our church was in a very bad shape. But you know what? And now who's going to do it? Praise the Lord. And the Lord answered our prayer as we were wondering what are we going to do? Our church needs to be somewhere where do you like our church? Yes, Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you like it? Yes. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Yeah, it was not like this last time when we came. But now it looks good. The next time it will be better. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the Lord provided for the money and even for the person to do it. Glory to Jesus. Amen. The Lord brought this person from overseas. Not from here within Kenya. God has brought this person from abroad to come and do it. Isn't our God good? Is it our God good? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mr. Monty, just stand up. And let's thank God for you. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you can talk about it from overseas. 
for this church. Praise the Lord. Yes. So stop doing what you're doing there. Come because I have an assignment for you right there in Kasarani at Abundant Glory International Ministries where the amazing grace international ministries or amazing grace children where they go, where they attend the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God for you, Mr. Wangi. Praise the Lord. Next time when you come, things will be better. Because he's not, God is not taking you back there soon until he finishes the assignment that he was given. Praise the Lord. Amen. Probably maybe next time you are coming will be in a big auditorium. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because our God, we just pray. That is what the Bible said. Those are the marks of salvation. Those people who are here, maybe a year before, when they come here, they'll surely know that God has saved us. God is giving us the benefits of salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we can ask and He's going to answer our prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, I was there when the different church model was started. Glory to God. Amen. I was there, I preached in the first crusade there. I mean, I was there, I attended to, from the different churches. We were there. Mm. We were there when the time tent, the first tent was blown by the wind. Mm. Praise mm. the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, yeah the, the tent that we had, it was, it was after the crusade. We got to do the crusade and then we start the church. So the, 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 the tent was pitched there so that people can go to church. Because we have had people getting born again in Rwanda. Rwanda was not as big as it is today. I mean, you could see the other end of Rwanda. But now you can't see. Praise the Lord. I do not even come to, to Rwanda by myself. I have to be guided or taken by somebody. But that time, that's get our, our back. It was bus number what? From town. 60. Number 60, yes. Just put the bus number 60 and you're there in Rwanda. Praise the Lord. We knew. Just write the past and you'll be there. Glory to God. Then the 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 church, I mean the, the tent was blown away. But you know what? The God, our God is so good. Because now it's not a tent. It's a big auditorium, isn't it? Yes. We thank God because of the prayers of people praying and the prayers being answered. That is a mark of salvation. Because there is no such building. I mean the building that is there now. I was amazed the last time I came there. Because when I came the first time, the, the last time I preached to the Moja was in a women's conference. I think of the first, I think it was among the first daughters of faith. I came and ministered there and it wasn't as big as it is. This is what marks of salvation. Even people who don't believe in God, when they come there now, that were there before, they will know that there is God. The salvation we are talking about is real. It is available. And God surely saves. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So in Ephesians 1, because I'm just about to conclude, Ephesians 1 verses um, Ephesians 1 verses 3 to 5. All praise to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before we made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in His eyes. God decided in advance to adapt us into His own family by bringing us to Himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 3, I'm going to read it again. Okay, back on. Right. He says in another version, every spiritual blessing in heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, all because He sees us wrapped in Christ. This is why we celebrate Him with all our hearts, and in love He chose us before He laid the foundation of the universe. Because of this great love, He ordained us 
so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. Praise the Lord. 